Welcome back to No Cap Room, where we are in between days of the knockout round of the men's basketball tournament in the Olympics. And Dan, by next week, we'll be done with the Olympics. The finals will be Saturday. And it will, it will be time to turn the page to Los Angeles in 2028. So quickly here, because we have some, some news to touch on in on, our everyone's favorite segment, Five Out. Who of this team, I mean, are we expect like to me, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton are probably the runaway favorites to be on that 2028 club. Then you've got Tatum and Booker, I think, are still gonna be clearly in the age range. Bam will be only 31 by them, but probably out. And who knows at the rate that he's still going. LeBron, <laughs> Steph, Durant, Embiid, Derek White will be well beyond 30 at that point. Drew Holiday will be 38. Anthony Davis will be 35. I don't know. Who are some players that come to mind for you that you will be looking at for the 2028 Team USA outfit in Los Angeles? So it, I think it's interesting because you're projecting out you know, young stars going forward, right? There are some that have already had some connection to the program, like Donovan Mitchell was on the 2019 World Cup team, uh, they, you know, they fell short, but he's, I think he's only going to be 31 or 32 around then. So <clears throat> should still be in the, in the age range there. I do. I kind of love the idea of like 43 year old full gray LeBron, but I don't yeah. think we're going to get that. Um, what if we do? What if he's still playing for the Lakers? What if him and Bronny are still doing it for the hometown LA? And oh, it's, man. it's now the that, ultimate opportunity. That's pretty impressive. I like that idea a lot. John ja Morant and Zion Williamson are interesting because talent wise, you could absolutely see them being focal points and centerpieces of the, the program moving forward. Obviously, injuries and then in, in John ja Morant's case, us some off the court stuff have been, have re, you know, raised their heads over the last couple of years. But if those guys are healthy and, you know, remain their stars, remain on the ascent the next couple of years would make a ton of sense. I think Zion as a, as a FIBA big is a really interesting thought experiment. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Um, Chet Holmgren was on the select team. I think he makes a ton of sense. You're talking about rim protection and shooting, playmaking bigs. Uh, obviously very thin there, but, you know, by the, in four years, he'll probably put on some weight. Uh, Derek Lively as another center there, you know, FIBA big. He's not maybe not the shooter, although we saw during the finals, he made one. And, you know, maybe they, they'll have him shooting more in Dallas. But the idea of big switchable rim protector can make plays on the move, all that kind of stuff feels like he makes a bunch of sense there. And I think a lot of it then is sort of projecting the next few draft classes kind For of sure. or most recent ones. And that's a little bit tricky. But Cooper Flag obviously was the name on everybody's lips coming out of the select team this past season. Last year, Cade Cunningham was that guy and he you know, went wound his way through another dismal season in Detroit, but his star could be on the rise. You're talking about in the next, you know, other projected high draft picks in the next couple of years, like Flag, like Ace Bailey and Dylan Harper, the guys at Rutgers, Those AJ DeBanto. I'm going to say anyone who has not been drafted in the league right now, I don't think they're going to be competing with Scotty Barnes and Paolo Boncaro and Jalen Brunson and even guys like Brandon Miller who were on this select team and Trey Murphy and Keegan Murray and the Thompson twins are like the perfect kind of front court guy. So I don't want to pour cold water on what's supposed to be a very, very talented rookie class. And while I would say yes to Cooper flag, those dudes are going to have to be phenomenal. I think to supersede NBA players who have real connections to this program, like even, you know, Mikhail Bridges and Josh Hart, who were probably two of the most beloved players on the World Cup team by the coaching staff, let alone their teammates. And Team USA is a program that really does call back to guys who have, you know, participated in the past and done things for the program and the three letters on their chest and not the letters on the back, blah, blah, blah. Let me ask you, well, first off, as speaking of a place of ignorance, so maybe you know better than me, is is this coaching staff or roughly this coaching staff expected to continue? Like, is, no. is Steve Kerr expected to, to be the coach in 28? I, I mean, I haven't checked that as or up least, to date today, but I'm, I would I'm, be, I'm not asking you for insider. Yeah, like, I'd be very surprised. I'd be very yeah. surprised. This is, this is pretty typically a four year cycle thing. This will right. be the end of that cycle. The next coach likely will be decided, but like could be Spolstra. 
He's been yeah. a, he's been an assistant. Kerr was an assistant before him. So there, I mean, it could be Mark Few. Like it could be anyone who's been attached to this program in the past. So the part where like Mikhail Bridges and Josh Hart were beloved performers, and I think there was probably a lot of positive things to say about Donovan Mitchell from those World Cup teams too. There's also the point of like those guys were beloved members of teams that underperformed and didn't medal at their respective sure. competitions. And so like them and Brunson, you know, do, do they wind up getting So was tarred? LeBron in 04, man. Yes. Order of magnitude different maybe a little bit, but I hear <laughs> what you're saying. Uh, so wait, but okay. When you, now I don't know if, the, I'm not saying this to troll. I'm saying it because I'm interested and I don't know. Troll me. Past performer, somebody who has devoted time and energy for the for the cause, who's going to be prime age in four, still still around prime age in four years. Does Jalen Brown get a call? Would Jalen Brown take the call if he gets one from Grant Hill at that point? If we're talking about Mia Culpa's, that'd be a nice a nice bow on that story for sure. So here's my question: Who's the one saying they're sorry? They probably both are. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's usually the way it works out. Reconciling does require both people to be a little bit humble. Also, I got it. I just got to say it. Tyrese Maxey, Captain America. Wait, you know why, can, why? Why not us? Why couldn't that be? And I don't know if he'll be the the same level of athlete in four years. But both of us have been saying, why can't Aaron Gordon be on this team for like a year and a half? I don't sure. know. Aaron Gordon, <laughs> Aaron Gordon, twenty twenty eight. Let's get it. Let's let's make it happen. There we go. Well, if you can't get enough Team USA, let's hope you can keep envisioning who will be on this team. For the next four years, just like Donovan Dan and Klingen, I. Stephen Castle. Let's just say some more names. Reed Shepard. Let's get the names out there, everybody. Let's keep this going. Hashtag Team USA 2028 at Jake L. Fisher. You got to reach out to him. You got to get it going. We got <sighs> to talk about it now. We got to get this started.